What's up, friends of the good mood? It's Manny, and welcome to my favorite new Ao Ming right here. The best brawling Ao Ming with the highest firepower with the dual machine guns, and also explaining why I have these rocket launchers as the secondary weapons and no longer the small machine guns, okay? Because in my opinion, the Ao Ming is actually one of the most dangerous and highest firepower brawlers in the game if you just use it the right way. And after the update where it lost some HP, but heals more in return, that changes a little bit how you can play this thing, right? And uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you and explain exactly why this thing is so incredibly powerful and how. What what uh, technique is really, really the best one on this? And um, so, yeah, let's go into it. But first, this video is brought to you by Rich Wallet. It's light, sleek, industrial, it doesn't fold or bulge in your back pocket and seriously changes your whole pocket situation. The Rich is the perfect holiday gift too. I wouldn't walk around with a mobile phone from the 90s, but I still somehow do with this old thing. So visit rich.com slash money and see their holiday guide and uh, use the code MANNY for 10% off. There it was again, the Rich Wallet. Ladies and gents, there's gonna be one more coming next week. Um, so I already told you in the intro that those machine guns have pretty much the highest firepower of all the weapons you can run Except of course the shotguns. The shotguns have more firepower, but only if you stand very close to the enemy Those machine guns allow you perfect damage output even at maximum 500 meters range Look how fast this Ao Ming goes down over there, and that's not a terribly leveled Ao Ming It just goes down incredibly fast when when the machine guns are coming in. Now, I lost a lot of HP very quickly here, but um, that also gives me the chance to show you the strength of those dual machine guns here, the heavy alpha weapons on the Ao Ming, where the Ao Ming, as we all know, is the only Titan that has two of those heavy weapons. All other Titans have either none or only one of such heavy weapons, and therefore making the Ao Ming the only one with this much firepower on those dual machine guns. And here comes another t uh, uh, t pro of it. These things, unlike the small machine guns, don't have 12 seconds reload. Look how fast I deliver firepower. There's a fresh Ao Ming spawning in. My weapons are almost empty. I swap to him and I only fire for about 3 seconds before I land. And look at his health. Up, 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 up. I'm landing now. 2, 1, 3 seconds over and the dude is pretty much gone. That's the machine guns. Those dual machine guns have an insane amount of firepower and they deliver, deliver that perfectly accurate even up to 500 meters range. And here comes the best part, ladies and gentlemen. These things don't have 12 seconds of reload like the small machine guns do. Um, they have only eight, eight, I think eight seconds of reload, okay? So let's jump on to Canyon. This is a gameplay compilation for you guys. So I've cut together the best moments to uh, to prove my point here and to show you the strength of these of these weapons. We're just gonna capture real quick this beacon and then uh, I'm gonna take out one or two guys, maybe with that Raven, uh, and then we're jumping into the Ao Ming immediately. And um, and I'm proving you and showing you exactly what I've just told you guys to use this Ao Ming primary with the two heavy weapons and then I'm also gonna explain and show why the rocket launchers might be um, the best side weapons for this type of playstyle, okay? Uh, because if you're gonna try to play the Ao Ming primary in a walking state where his resistance is the highest as it gets, right? The highest resistance you can have on it is when the Ao Ming is walking, not flying. And then you still have like 70% of your firepower ready because those heavy weapons is what, what mainly provides the firepower on the Ao Ming. And therefore you have highest resistance, still highest firepower pretty much. And um, yeah, and then you have the advantage that you're not getting shot at by people because you might stand somewhere where only those weapons stand out, right? So, I'll be about to die in just a second here. Just took out this guy there and then I'm gonna finish that out Ming, nope, that out Chun over to this side. And now I'm getting killed by the Crimson Hawk here. And that gives me the chance to finally, well, I played something in between, but now I skipped it. And uh, we're here with the Ao Ming now, okay? Dual machine guns, perfect accuracy almost, and uh, a lot of firepower and ammo before you have to reload, and then an actually a quick reload too. Not like a forever 12 seconds like the small machine guns have for whatever reason. I don't understand why they do this. But look how fast this leech goes. 
pop, 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 and hey, it's like hitting him with the sniper weapons, but every single one of those machine gun bullets has the firepower almost. Right, there's another one, pop, 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 you see when I hit, every time it takes a massive amount of damage into him. And uh, you see there's a hawk in the enemy team now trying to take me down, but there's no way he can hit me from here. However, I could hit the enemy Elming right there, I could hit a lot of things from right here, right? Uh, so, you're gonna be surprised to see how much I'm gonna be able to do here in this video, guys, and if you like the content and you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, then consider subscribing now if you haven't done it. Look how fast this enemy Titan goes down. Oh my goodness, these dual machine guns just flatten him in a matter of split seconds right there. That is just outrageous. Bum bum bum, bum bum bum, still firing, still ready to go. Uh, unfortunately, I'm reloading now, but look how fast the reload is. No 12 seconds wasting time. No, it's just si 8 seconds or so and you're back to full firepower. And uh, although, yeah, you don't have the range that the sniping Elming has, because this is the alternative playstyle. Right? You no longer really play an Aoming as a brawler because it goes down faster than most other titans now. Uh, but you can play it as a sniper safely from a distance and stay out of the range. Or you do exactly what you're seeing right here. You have those heavy weapons that are just hammering over cover and flattening the sniper Aoming in a matter of seconds because those firepower from those two heavy weapons is way higher than the firepower on the sniper weapons from the Aoming even including the uh, lighter weapons firing with it and then having these weapons here so where the enemy can't even fire back when for example an Arthur or whatever you're taking this guy down Oop, I didn't quite make it but there is for example is an Arthur and I can tell you how quickly his shield goes down from those projectile weapons which is yet another example that those projectile weapons finish these physical shields quicker there's nothing you can do he can't fire back and then here showing you the advantage of the rocket launcher as a side weapon is because of the fact that my playstyle here is to not use the flight ability all the time I need a weapon that fire empty all its charge in a matter of seconds and then I can land and I'm recharging, right? So this way I can even make use of the full firepower of the side weapons if I just fly up for a short second every 30 seconds clam hammer empty the load and then land back, right? And then I, ha I will have made use of the full firepower. And on top of that, I get to counter shoot people who are trying to corner shoot me. There is no more corner shooting now because if I start firing at that corner, you're gonna lose your robot from those rocket launchers firing at that corner, right? So corner shooting is out of the question. Um, you know, standing behind short, tiny little objects to be safe from firepower is not an option because the splash damage will deal with that. And secondly, I don't have to constantly fly. I can sit here and expose myself to various different firepower from enemy robots with maximum resistance in a standing position on the Ao Ming and just take him all down with maximum firepower still on the robot. And I think this may actually be a, a, a way to play the Ao Ming now. I have seen it do, a few people do this. Uh, and uh, I've also started doing this myself now more and more often and I believe this is easily turning into the uh, My favorite way to play the Yao Ming by the way look how he's I'm jumping with a jump unit forward to try and get behind cover He uses his blast wave and pushes me off onto the other side of the map uh, or not the map But uh, the canyon, but then he kills me in mid-air where I don't have my ability ready So again here we are Flying up, just emptying the whole load on those rockets real quick, right? Where you see how much damage this Arthur is taking just from those rockets. Because I'm not really hitting him very well with the machine guns right there. I'm more or less just, you know, hitting him with the rockets and, and a little bit with the machine guns because he's relatively safe there. I've taken a lot of damage, but this again serves me as a great example. I'm now going behind cover. And I'm spending the rest of the round, pretty much, just hammer hammering at the enemy from where from where he can't really do much, okay? See? I have uh, all two heavy weapons still ready, I'm starting to heal. And from here, for example, enemies can't really do anything, they can't really hit me, and I have my full firepower available. Almost a full firepower. As I said, those two light weapons, those beta weapons, all I need to do, fly up, fire them empty, and land again. It's a matter of five seconds and then you have used up all the firepower you have, right? You see me doing that just here. And now that the enemy hawk is coming in again, uh, I'm just gonna land real quick. I triggered his flight and that's it. So now coming around the corner, finishing him, maybe doing some damage to the hawk too. He's out of his rocket range. 
And do we go? Ah, okay, I didn't get him the last stand. At least not yet. Um, and you see, this is like an end boss right here. This Ao Ming, the amount of firepower it provides at this 500 meters range, this is the end boss. There is no getting past this thing when it stands on this position and just uses these heavy alpha weapons to strike the enemy really well with, uh, with those. Uh, maximum firepower, minimum exposure, maximum resistance, and uh, yeah, it's just Im immensely difficult to take down like this, right? The Ao Ming is easy to take down when it flies now, but not when really when it stands still. See this guy, for example? If it wasn't for the rocket launcher, I couldn't kill him because he's behind the column. But what I just do, I just fly up for a second, fire empty my load, and I, and I splash kill him with a rupture. And this is yet another really good example of uh, why I think this specific setup with the rocket launchers on the side, the machine guns in the middle, may just be one of the best things you can do at this point with the Ao Ming. Except, of course, for the sniping, right? You can always use it as a sniper, uh, and, uh, and as a sniper you will be able to uh, outrange other titans often, and therefore you don't take much risk yourself either. You can have a great impact on the battlefield, snipe out many enemies, and don't get killed too quickly on your own, right? But if you don't want to take the sniper role, and rather want to brawl with maximum firepower, because this firepower is way higher than the firepower from, um, from the sn snipers, if you have those two alpha weapons. See this guy right there? I splashed him down to last stand. He felt safe behind this column, or behind this cover, but there was no safety right there, because I simply splash him dead um, when he's standing there. Those ruptures has a, have a massive splash radius, and even though I only have one of them left here on this low level, uh, low HP Ao Ming, it still provided me the, with, the with, a, with the um, strategic option of splashing him down to last stand. So, yeah, with last stand he could have potentially still killed me, because he would have been invincible for 5 seconds, but not after taking down the last stand. And if you notice, of course, that the enemy is not pay paying attention to you, then you can just go ahead and just take him down like this and even fly, fire empty your weapons. But you have this option now to use the full firepower for a short time and then just land and be safe, right? So you see right there how much damage we've, we've done to this kit that was uh, on the enemy base there a few seconds ago. We dropped him down quickly. Also here he's behind a column and safety but I'm doing damage to him uh, as he's trying to corner shoot me. Next situation we're here on uh, carrier now. And I'm doing the exact same thing, I'm just using this as a walking brawler. I'm not using it as a flying Ao Ming that is very, uh, what's the word, decrepit? What's the word? Um, fragile. Yeah, I think fragile is the right way to put it. A flying Ao Ming gets quite fragile, but the standing one, uh, where that uses cover to only hang out its middle weapon, er, its, its heavy weapons, it's the exact opposite. It's the hardest thing to deal with. It's much harder to deal with than than uh, an Arthur even, or then, um, uh, because, you know, or actually it's similar to an Arthur, I would say, because the Arthur shield also kind of prevents an end boss level opponent, whereas the uh, cover in front of the Ao Ming does that same thing. And uh, that well-leveled uh, Nodens right, no, Minos right there, those machine guns flip it down really quickly, it kills it so quick. Now, of course, I just get hit two, two or three times by the Avenger now, and I'm losing one of my heavy weapons, unfortunately, but... That's okay because I was lucky in the previous round where I was of low health and I still had the two weapons, right? I'm trying to drop down this guy to last stand. I mean, you don't have to do it when he flies, but, you know, if you get a hawk down to last stand, that means he's gonna die very quickly after his last stand. So, if there's like a sliver of health left on him, you can do this. Here, I'm just firing empty all my rockets, delivering a ton of firepower in a very short amount of time, and then I just walk back in safety and fire from here, right? I've used the entire firepower from those ruptures without really exposing myself to any additional firepower because I just do it for a short time and land. So really interesting playstyle, ladies and gentlemen, and again, if you like the content, subscribe to the channel and also join our Discord if you haven't done it yet, uh, with many thousands of War Robots players right there on there. And um, yeah, I'll be uh, wishing you guys a great weekend, hopefully, and uh, thanks for watching, have a good one, and until next time, Manny signing off.